might be aware of the relevance of the gut microbiota uh, in human health and diseases. I mean, over the last uh, years, we have seen uh, an explosion of uh, publications on the topic. And to be honest, uh, um, if you think about it, uh, we have uh, so many uh, microbes, uh, protozoa, fungi, viruses, uh, uh, bacteria in our gastrointestinal tract, and they constantly interact with our human body. So it's not difficult to imagine um, uh, that these, um, what we call gut microbiota, this pool of uh, microorganisms, uh, can play a role in human health and uh, diseases. Um, and uh, we know that there is a, uh, a dialogue between uh, the gut microbiota and the human body. Uh, this is uh, of uh, particular relevance for Parkinson's disease, as uh, we do know that the gastrointestinal tract may be affected early in, at the very beginning of the condition. And uh, uh, we do know uh, that uh, people with Parkinson's, they have an altered gut microbiota composition compared to people without Parkinson's disease. Uh, now, uh, results of these studies are extremely heterogeneous, but essentially there is uh, um, uh, some, um, uh, the, the, the result seems to go into the, the, a similar direction, that gut microbiota, the gut microbiota composition in people with Parkinson's is a pro-inflammatory gut microbiota composition. So there is more inflammation in the gastrointestinal tract. And um, there is uh, uh, some evidence suggesting that this inflammation can potentially um, um, facilitate absorption of toxins um, and is associated with this so-called condition called leaky gut, which has been described in Parkinson's disease, and also can potentially facilitate the accumulation of alpha sinutin which is the uh, pathological hallmark of Parkinson's disease. So, of course, this is very speculative, but in this scenario, uh, you can imagine that use of gut microbiota uh, modulating interventions such as probiotics, such as fecal microbiota transplantation, can play a role uh, in Parkinson's disease. Um, number one, uh, to uh, improve constipation, for instance, uh, as we have uh, previously mentioned, uh, but also eventually to modulate the gut microbiota composition to reduce inflammation, which is a uh, uh, key uh, pathophysiological mechanism in the disorder, and eventually to modulate the symptomatology of Parkinson's. We are at the very beginning of this uh, um, uh, research field, so we need to do more studies and understand more. Um, there are some uh, studies showing that alteration of the gut certain types of bacteria in the gastrointestinal tract, the level of abundance of certain bacteria is associated with some symptoms of Parkinson's motor and non motor. So um, I think that it, there is a huge potential. Uh, of course, we need to better understand um, what uh, the meaning of this alteration of the gut microbiota and how we can modulate them and to eventually um, have a, a beneficial uh, um, effect in terms of symptomatology, uh, potentially neuroprotection. I mean, this is something that needs to be better investigated.